Hi guys, I have a little collective haul for you today. So we have some clothing, some other random stuff, so I'm just gonna jump right in, I think. The first thing that I wanted to share is this. This is a vase, and uh, this is from the IKEA Yetli collection, and uh, this was on sale, so I got this for like next to nothing. Uh, I think it was like 80% off or something, because it was going to be discontinued, and it's just this glass uh, vase with this rose gold copper uh, hardware and it's just beautiful. I haven't figured out what I actually want to put in this yet. So it's just been sitting on my desk for now, but it's beautiful. If you know what I should have in this. I am not good with flowers. I'm very good at killing them. So fresh flowers, maybe not a good idea. But if you have any tips for something that would look pretty in this, let me know. And then I got this random little camera and this is a like a regular like a video camera so it looks like this um i got this super cheap because it was going to be sold out so i got this for like 15 norwegian or something i think that i got the vase for 30. um and this is usually 600 i think it said um but i haven't been able to turn this on yet so i'm gonna just leave it in the charger forever and just see if it gets any power if not, I'm going to take it back and see if I can get my money back for it but because of the price that I got this for. It's not like the biggest loss anyway, even if I don't. Um, but it's just like super cute little camera. It's easy to put in your pocket and it also comes with like a little case for it. Like a little, it's not like a case, it's more like a pouch, honestly. But this is a 12 megapixel digital recorder and this is from J JWS. I have no idea what the quality of this is like. I just saw it and I just had to take it with me. I have one thing here that you have seen before if you've seen my vlogs, but I just really wanted to share it again, honestly. Uh, this is a checkered, like a thin flannel, and this is from H&M. Uh, and it is pretty plain, but then it has these pearl details on here. And it's just so pretty that I just wanted to share again it's just like right here and it just looks so cool i think this is going to be great when it comes to fall and winter just like this and uh, this is a little bit baggy for me so i had to go one size down and it's still kind of baggy uh i like my flowers to be loose but not that loose so this that was a bead that just popped off and it seems like there has been another you see this string right here this is supposed to be able to be washed in the washing machine. So I'm a little bit curious now. Here's the little bead. I don't know if I have the receipt still, but I am going to take this back to H&M because it is H&M brand, so there's no like doubt. But now I'm like worried that more will pop off. Here's another loose thread. So I don't know. I don't know where the other one went. This has just been hanging in my um, wardrobe. Uh, but it is beautiful, but apparently the beads are not very well stitch on. When I was at um, Cubus, I think, last time, I picked up two sets of fishnets. So this is just a kind of small patterned fishnet in black. And then I got this very wide patterned fishnet in a red color. And uh, I have, this is my first pair of fishnets. I got these both in extra large. And um, I don't know how I feel about the red one yet, but both of these were oops, 10 Norwegian, which is like a dollar and a half. So I figured I just wanted to take them and see what they are like, honestly. So I really like the um, effect of them. So I think maybe for like parties or something, this is going to be really cool, especially if you have something that might be a little bit too short, but you just want to cover up just a little bit. Uh, and then it has like a better, um, tighter print on the toe so that it, your toes don't stick through. I have gotten another like clothing item. This is the slip-in skirt. Um, and this is a polyester and elastan skirt, which is supposed to look like denim. Uh, so it says that it comp compressions areas, slims your curves, slims your, firms your bottom. Uh, no buttons, studs, or zipper, bulging, or hassle to deal with. And I got the L to extra large size, but according to the back right here, L to extra large is US 8 to 10 and a European size 33. 
which is quite smaller than what I am. So this has just been sitting in my cabinet and I'm going to be seeing if I'm, maybe I'll be able to wear this one day. This also cost like next to nothing. I think it was like 30 Norwegian or something like that. So just having this in my cabinet doesn't really bother me that much. I really do have to go through my cabinets again one day though. I think I'm going to be posting some stuff on Depop. So if you haven't added me on Depop yet, you really should. But I do have to say my pictures on there aren't like great because I have a crappy rental phone. And it's honestly just too much of a hassle to take pictures with this camera and send them to my phone and add them in. So there's like five silica packets in here. So it's really nice and soft. But yeah, this is supposed to be an extra large. This is like super tiny, but it does have real back pockets. So, the inside is like a nice fleecy material. Hopefully I might be able to wear this one day. And then I just got one of these microfiber hair towels, like the hair turban things. And uh, this is a 55 times 22 centimeter one. I have gotten some of this, like one of these from Wish before, but it was so small I couldn't wear it. Uh, this I have tried, I just put it back in the package so that it would look cool. <laughs> Um, but this actually does work and it does fit my, um, my head, which is cool. And then I got this top and I actually got two of these. I got a large and an extra large and uh, this is the large size because this is pretty big in the sizes and this is from H&M as well. Uh, it just looks like this so it's all really like nice and flowy top. For me it goes like right down to the middle of my butt I would say. Um, so it's just like this it is super cute and then I gave the or I sold the uh, burgundy extra large size to a friend of mine who has like larger boobs than I do so she could actually pull that off but for me it was just hanging down so it was not pretty but this is gorgeous and this was on sale as well and uh, this was only 30 in a region I think uh, and it does have a lining here but just on the part where your boobs are and then it goes like a little bit more sheer down here and then I am going to a wedding, uh, so I had to get some supplies. Uh, so this is just a nude strapless bra. It just looks like this. Uh, this is from Cubus. So it just looks like this. It has a pretty wide strap in the back with like silicone right here. And then I also got a slip dress. So this is just like a super thin dress that you wear underneath your dress. And that is because I think my dress is maybe a little bit see-through. Uh, so I just got this one and this is in the size extra large and it's in the color camel It has straps, but I'm just going to tuck those underneath because I don't I can't have anything over here Because my dress goes like uh, like around like this. So Yes, it's just like a basic like this and uh, Honestly a slip dress is something that's nice to have anyway, especially like a nude one. So it's practical so I got those two for the wedding. I'm actually going to be wearing a dress from Wish for the wedding, which is cool. Uh, and then I got a couple of other things. So I got some for my to-do list, which is wood. I was planning on getting one of those sheets from Ikea that you can just stick on. But those are only available online and I don't want to pay shipping. So I just went and got some blackboard paint. Uh, this is from Sister Negrena and this is just a matte black chalkboard paint. And then I also got a little pack of chalk. You need to... Uh, have two or three coats and then it has to dry for 48 hours. I got those two and then from the same store I also got a pencil, a, like a bigger one, that I'm going to be using with a chalk paint and this is just like a soft poly like synthetic fiber brush. And then I got these and I find these kind of interesting but I haven't tried them yet. These are the fruit spread with cocoa. So this is a date-based spread with cocoa in it, and it has, they're like, they're like little squares. So you can just like place them on top of your uh, bread or whatever. The ingredients is fruit, which is dates, and cocoa, a little bit of oil and water. Random thing, I got some ear, mm, what are they called? Earplugs. Um, and uh, these are just like the gray one, and they come with one case. Uh, I can use these when I want to read, if uh, Mary's is watching TV or something, I can just stick them in my ear. 
or if when I'm going to Florida and it's quite a long flight and I also have a layover so being able to shut the world out with these I think would be great. I typically really don't like having things like this in my ear but sometimes you just don't have a choice. So I got a pack and this was like super cheap and it comes with four pairs and a case and um, it was like two dollars. And then I have one more thing to share and it's this cover from my vlog camera. So the vlog camera that I have is the Canon EOS M10 and, and the screen is like this. So there's no protection over the screen. You just flip it off if up if you need to. Uh, but there's no like nothing to cover it. Uh, so I got this case and basically you just screw this into the tripod little uh, mount thing in the camera so that this uh, this frame thing like this part right here is actually stuck to your camera uh, and then where you're using it you just fold it down like this so that's what I've been doing and uh, it is very practical and honestly I think it looks kind of badass um, this is a PU like a fake leather plastic leather and it has these like bronze kind of uh, copper like looking hardware which is cool it also came with a strap but I haven't put a strap on yet so it just looks like this uh, with like the same PU material I don't really wear my camera around my neck so I haven't attached the strap uh, but I kind of want one that's like a hand um, hand strap if that makes sense so you can still like access the like um, ports for the memory card and stuff in here but you do have to take the case off if you're going to charge it because the battery is in the bottom. Yeah, that was my new camera. And this also has a Wi-Fi thing, but I haven't tried it out. There's like a little phone button right here. So this is the last thing that i gotten so far. And then you just um, fasten the whole thing with a button underneath. Uh, but I was really like unsure when I got this how it would actually sit on my camera. But it's actually quite nice, especially now that I have a tripod on top of this. Because the little thing that you have to put into your camera, it also has another, um, like a tripod mount to it. So you can attach a tripod to the case itself. So that's just some nice protection for my camera so that I don't break it when it's um, rolling around in my purse. But that was actually everything that I got this time. I always keep thinking that these videos are going to be so short and then suddenly you've been filming for 18 minutes. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to cut it down a little bit before I have to publish it. Mm, I'm tired. I went to sleep at like 9.30 yesterday. It was amazing. And now I actually, I, I'm yawning because it's early and I haven't had any coffee. And I didn't drink any coffee at all yesterday. Um, I'm trying to wean my body off of caffeine a little bit. But then I went yesterday without drinking caffeine, like with no problem. I wasn't any more tired than I usually am when I do drink coffee. So maybe I'm not as addicted as I've been thinking I am. Um, but anyway, that was everything that I got this time around. So I really do hope you enjoy this little random collective haul. And um, let me know if there are any videos you want to see me make. I think that would be fun. I love getting requests. If you like this video, remember to give it a big like if you liked it, obviously. Leave it in comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.